welcome to my youtube channel i am marie sandra if you are yet to subscribe to my channel what are you waiting for please don't allow us to have beef subscribe now subscribe now or we'll have beef so today i'll be addressing i'll be i'll be sharing my own personal my personal opinion on why i feel um, students feel i can examination some reasons why i feel students feel i can examination so let's just jump right in so I have about five points here why people will feel like an exams. And the first is reading textbook and not I can pack. <laughs> like the essence, the whole essence of having a pack for I can professional exams is that the institute expects students to study their pack back to back and not other textbooks. Now there's an exemption to this rule actually for um, subjects like for courses like SFM, searching financial management at the professional levels and um, PM at the skill level, that's performance management. The, 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 the importance of textbooks cannot be overemphasized because you need a textbook to explain most of all those, most of the calculations to you very well. And most textbook, like during my time, I had a textbook that helped me really understand PM very well, even better than the, 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 the pack. But from, for courses like MG, Management Governance and Ethics, what is an assurance? Please, what do you need a textbook for? But you still find that some students, instead of reading their pack, they still go and buy a textbook to understand MG. Maybe you go and look for your strategic, financial, strategic um, business textbook of maybe your final year in school to start reading to understand MG. Oh God, madam, please drop it. Read your pack, especially for the theory courses. All this an assurance. I can't will not set anything outside their pack. They won't bring any any alien questions that is not in the pack for theory courses. So for courses like SFM and PM, it is okay to have a textbook to understand better because there are some there are very good textbook that actually explains breaks it down very well for you. But for theory courses like MG, for theory courses like Audit and Assurance, for theory courses like what other one and all other theory courses actually, your pack is is more than enough for you. I mean, if when you have read your pack back to back for like maybe 10 times, then if you have the time to buy other that you can read, then it's okay that way. So that's one of the reasons people feel I can exam. The other reason is solving past questions late. I did a video on are you scared of I can exam and I gave detailed, I, I explained in detail how you should prepare to write each diet. And I always advise that it's better to start reading your past, to start solving past questions two months before the before the the exams date because you need to internalize all that you have learned if for instance a past a, a question is repeated in a, a current diet a question of maybe past the last diet or even four diets ago i mean if you start um, preparing if that's opening your past question a week to the exam what time do you have then with all the pressure and the tense and the much tension that may be in your body at that pro at that period to to understand the little to understand a lot of things at the same at at a very short time so past questions are to start in short you start solving your past questions so much to the exam and then a week to the exams so past questions is very they are very important because sometimes in most exams i can actually even set past questions they bring out past, some past questions and not just an, an entirely new question so it's very important to solve past questions on time then my third point is that spending too much time at Sura centers like in order to solve this problem i used to tell people maximize every time you have why you go for tutorials now there are sometimes you go for tutorials and maybe the lecturer is not there on time or maybe he actually says he's going to come that day but at the end maybe you've waited one hour two hours and the, the lecturer is not around what do you do at that period? what do you do at that time during that time when you are waiting for your lecturer to come are you busy ch chatting or maybe pressing your phone I always tell people that ICANN is a jealous lover. You cannot mix ICANN with another thing. If you want to focus on ICANN, focus on it and focus it to where you finish writing the exams, you can focus on another thing. So the S, the importance of tutorials is is cannot be overemphasized. I say once again, tutorials are they are very helpful. Like during my time, I attended tutorials at both skills and professional level. I, I can, and I paid for tutorials for all courses because at that point, even though I was I was doing my NYSE then. But I did not have time. I, I was at, I, I, I was resuming work by 6 and I was coming back by 9. So there was no way I could just sit down and read my, my textbooks myself. So I needed tutorials. But 
in that short while when it's a, a strap um the tutor is not around i'm taking off my maybe my summary and i'm reading my summary maximize every time even if it's 10 minutes you can use 10 minutes and learn a standard you can use 10 minutes and learn a new thing from you and learn something from your past question or from your or from your test book or whatever you are reading at that particular time point in time so it's very important then for courses like mg uh, i don't want someone to come and catch me in the, on the street i say i say don't go for trial for mg but i always advise it's always in my own personal opinion i used to feel i feel that it is better that time you will use you you are going to you, you'll be sitting down and be listening to explanation you can just sit and read your pack very well but please, if you are someone, because there are a lot of people that learn, people learn in different ways. Some people can, some people prefer just sitting down in a very quiet place and they read their pack and they understand. They read their summary and they understand it. But some people actually remember faster. Remember and internalize easily what another person says. So if you are someone that you feel you, you comprehend fast when you hear from another person and you, you feel that even at MG, even writing MG or audits, that you need explanation, please, with, with all, please go for your tutorials and learn what you need to learn. Also, try as much as possible to use homophones while learning theory courses, like um, use acronyms and everything that can make you easily understand and remember the points said there. Then, also, bad influence and peer pressure, like... Oof, let me breathe it is so real like in <laughs> i know a lot of a lot of friends that we started this icon journey together but along the line some people dropped some people have actually not finished some people are it shows some people have they've chased other dreams as i i can so i feel it is very important for any uh, a students to have the right set of friends while writing like an exam because it can actually be you need a lot of encouragement while writing the exam if you're a self-motivated person fine but if you need people to motivate you maybe solve past questions together ask several questions together then please by all means have the right set of persons and also i will repeat again when while you are in your class waiting for your stuff to come maximize every little time possible to read your summaries to read your tutorial notes and the likes then we have overloading oneself with a lot of papers now i i, I always I, people advise that please write all the four papers in each in skills level write all the five papers files here at professional level because you never can tell which one you are going to pass but in your heart of heart in your heart the heart of the heart of the heart you know and you can you can say maybe as a result of the nature of your job that you actually cannot carry five papers at once at once maybe you, you can manage you can manage to, to write two then maybe try the remaining three please if you know you're in that train don't feel don't don't put so much load on yourself and write five carry the much you can you can at every diet but never skip any diet that's what i always advise people don't skip a diet even if it's one you have to write write down one but say ah this diet i'm not prepared at all let me leave it to the next diet you never can tell what happened you may skip and skip and you find yourself after three years you have still not um, completed your professional exam so i don't advise people to skip diet even if it's just a paper you write but please write the much carry the much you know that the, the circumstances around you will permit you to carry then manage your time very well. Then finally, is fear. <sighs> In terms of fear, fear, people, it's right that fear means false evidence appearing real. So don't have that, um, that perception, like say, that it is so difficult, that you are so scared, that even before they even share the examination questions, you're already so scared that when you even see the question, even the ones, the knowledge you already had, may even fly, or you start searching your brain to, Remember what you have learned. I can is you know, is an is is an easy exam. Just read your pack and go, I always advise go for tutorials. Then clear your free your mind when you when you get to the exam hall. The grace of God will always be there to help everyone. Remember that which one cannot remember, um, which which one cannot easily cannot remember based on one's own strength. So there's no need to be scared. I have. Uh, 
I have people who have written skills level. A lot of people who have written skills level and passed before at one sitting. Other people write professional exams and pass the five at one sitting. Some we, we write five, they'll pass three and they have to rewrite others. It's fine. And also the the, the fact that the fact that you um, a person writes an exam and did not pass at that moment, there's not a reason for the person to become demoralized and like I'm not writing again. I always tell people, people who even repeatedly write a paper, they always they, they are better at it than people who just read it once and maybe they are so lucky that there's there's this question they just saw and it, it, they easily just scale through. But I, my SFM lecturer used to tell us that he wrote his SFM, SFM almost six times. But now he's an SFM teacher. There is practically no question you are going to ask him in SFM that he can answer. Even if you sleep, even if you sleep in your dream and you ask him that question, the, he will answer that question for you. So the fact that you have failed the paper or you failed to, is not a reason why you should be. You should. You should. You should, you should uh, it's not a reason why you should be. You should be down in your spirit. Please pick up yourself encourage yourself and write it more and be a master at that which you 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 have previously failed so these are just my personal opinion or reason why a few people actually do not do people fail i can examination so if you're able to manage this very well i think i can is as easy as just sipping a, a cup of tea so thank you for watching this video we hope to see you in the next video like share subscribe and ciao Thank you.